So today we're going to try this tracker by Sizap. So this is the device. This is the Sizap two wire VIP edition. So we're going to install this on the bike. It's got an app I put on my phone, and then we can do all kinds of tracking on there. So this is all the devices. All we do is wire it to the battery. Put that under the seat that's waterproof and then i believe what the app can do it can so it gives you a location shows you routes notification battery level shows you speed shows you driving behavior and it's got movement sensor so there's no instructions with it it's very simple it basically just says download the sys app from the app store connect the voice to the vehicle enter the imei number into the app with your mobile number and it's ready to go so let's try it let's fit it let's see how it works right then let's get it installed let's remove the seat right, so what i'm going to do i'm going to put it here and what it's got on the back of this little control unit it's got a little sticky pad so i think I'll go there. I can't go there because it's sticking up. Okay. Press it down. And all I've got to do next is connect these. That's a positive. We'll have it like that. So that's installed. So all we need to do now is check on the app if it's working. To start using Sysup, download the application and open it. Enter your phone number, wait for the activation SMS and enter it. Press on the top of the left corner, enter your name, choose and save your profile picture. Okay, so we've got it installed. It's gone there. Positive, negative, that's all we need. Ignition's off at the moment. So let's have a look on the app. So we've got top left, battery voltage. Top right, temperature, air temperature outside lower left we've got the satellites online and then on the right it says on stop which i'd imagine it knows the bike stop distance we've got zero at the moment because we've not been anywhere um find my bike let's have a look wherever it is there it is that's my house there and here we are in the back garden so we've come for a little ride then, we'll have a look on the Sysapp app later, so we can see the route I took. So this has now been a week. I installed the Sysapp last Saturday, today is Saturday, so it's been on the bike for a week. And what I've done is deliberately not connected my bike to the Optimate charger to keep the battery topped up. Because what I wanted to do, I haven't used the bike all week, I wanted to see how much power the Sysapp drained from the battery while the bike was sitting there all week. So what I did each day, I went on and checked the voltage. I've done a couple of screenshots of it. So last Saturday, if I remember right, I'll put the screenshots up. I'm pretty sure the bike battery was at 13.3 volts, if I remember correct. This morning, I've checked it throughout the week, and this morning, so it's seven days, I've checked it and it was 12.6 so what's that 4 3 7 
so it's used 0.7 volt. Have I got that right? 0.7 volts from 13.3 to 12.6. Yeah, I think it is. So 0.7 volts in a week. So that works out to 0.1 volt a day. It will take off the battery. Now I know when the battery gets to a certain level, the app will actually tell you that your battery level's dropped. Uh, you know, to a point where you might need to consider charging it. So I'm quite happy with that. So what I was thinking was, uh, when we do our big European tours in the summer, if we're doing a week, do I leave the app connected? Thank you. There's always a lot of horses around here, so must give them a bit of respect. And being in Europe, I just wanted to make sure it was going to be fine for a week. So I'm happy with that, 0.7 volts over a week. So it's not even one volt it's used. And obviously, been on the bike in Europe for a week, the bike's going to be being used every day. So the battery will be charged. So that's, uh, that was a good little test what that was, to see what kind of uh, pair it used. The interface on the app is brilliant, I really like the interface. What I'll try and do now, I'll try and... I'll record the screen at home and I'll put the footage up now. Um, so we can see where you've got like the voltage of the bike you've then got the temperature the air temperature around the bike so I can see what temperature it is in the shed um, it shows you the bottom left the online status satellite signal and then the bottom right it'll say like stop but the bike's in stop motion, the bike's not moving. I don't know actually what that symbol changes to when you're riding. But I can click on find my bike now or find my bike and that will show you where the bike is. You can set up uh, a geo zone so I can set the geo zone to my house so that's home. So anywhere in that zone is my safe zone, that's home. But it's brilliant, so obviously I've been messing about uh, in the shed this week after work. I've been fitting like some wind deflectors here and I've moved my sat nav mounts. And obviously while I was doing it, my phone was pinging. Because obviously I was, I was only really sitting on the bike. The bike never really come off its stand, but it was picking up that movement and it was pinging me. So what it does as well, although you will have the notification in the app, I've set it to by my mobile number as well. So what happens is I get a text message, SMS message. And what you can do in the settings, into all the alerts, so you've got like movement of the bike, message if the battery's been disconnected, message if a collision is picked up, if the vehicle's been towed and what it does when you register the app you put your mobile number in so that's your default number but what you can also do or oh, the loads are going to be a bit slimy here you can put another mobile number in so I could say as well as ping the app I could put the wife's mobile number in there so if I'm ever away and my bike moves I'll get a notification on the app but also the wife gets a message saying that says up bike movement but you can do that for each one as well for battery disconnect you can add a different mobile number so that's a nice feature that is I'm well happy with it well impressed with it so I've got the two wire 4G one so it's got 4G signal. They also do the cheaper version, which is the two-wire 2G. So it's a 2G network. The one I've got is a 4G network, so it works anywhere in the world, any country, it will work in. And the bonus, the biggest thing to this, 
there's no subscription. Well, most of these trackers, you have to pay a subscription for the SIM card. There's no subscription with SIS app. You get it for life, your messaging. You don't have to register, add your card details, nothing. All you do is open the box. You can either scan the QR code or go to your app store, download the SIS app app. Enter the IMEI number, what's on the box. Which that's the number of the SIM card. And that's it, it's activated to your phone. Obviously you put your phone number in and then it's activated to you. And it's as simple as that. Put the two wires on the battery, the job's that easy. But it's quite nice now, um, knowing I've got that little bit more security at the back of my mind. I oh, know even if your bike's moved. But it's nice to be able to check the battery status. I'm an all year rider, so winter, autumn, I still ride. So my bike doesn't get put away for the winter. Another feature, when I look at the route I've just been on, I look, look at my greatest speed. I can look at the amount of force braking I did. You can do it in kilometres, miles per hour, it's quite good. It's got a high recommendation from MCN. Uh, super bikes so sis app it looks like it is a, a fastly growing company seems to be gathering a lot of pace very fast what I'll do I'll put the prices up on the screen so these are the current prices for the 2 wire 2G and the 2 wire 4G now obviously the 2G you need to check your country if you've got 2G coverage the 4G should be well it is, it's anywhere in the world now. 4G. It's easy to install. It's easy to download the app. It's easy to activate it. It's easy to use. It works brilliant. It really does. I'm happy with it. So very often you find something so easy to use, so easy to install, and works. And this seems to do it. I know there's other trackers out there. I haven't tried any of the other trackers. But um, I won't be looking at another tracker. Now I've got this is up. It does everything I need. I don't know whether the other trackers have got that same kind of interface with an app. I'd imagine some of them do. That's brilliant for me. I'm loving it. So I'll put the links in the description to the SIS app. Mine is the 2YR4G. The 2 wire 2G is a bit slimmer, but of a slimmer version. And there we go. The Scissor Motors Alt Tracker. And if I could pick one thing, one tiny little thing, if I could change anything, I wish you had the option in the app to change the picture of the motorbike. I think it could do with a couple of us. An adventure bike, a two, a sports bike, a cruiser. It'd be nice just to be able to choose your bike. Right, let's get back because I'm going to get soaked in my mesh jacket. A double rainbow. Look at her. I've just washed her. It's going to be a lovely sunny day. And the rain came. I don't have to wash it again now. See you later.